Hi everybody and welcome to these videos on Visual Basic 2008 and this week we're going to be concentrating on selection statements, um, in other words if statements. Now if you've done programming before, um, probably a lot of this is going to be um, familiar to you and it's just a recap on, on selection statements that you've done in the past in programming. If you've never done programming before, I just want to discuss what a selection statement is so you just get a basic idea of the structure. Okay, let's take a everyday scenario, getting ready to go to work. Okay, you wake up, you get washed, you get dressed, have breakfast, and then when you're ready to go to work, you may have to check the weather, see what it's like outside, and here's where I've put some examples of um, if statements in there. If it's raining, then we wear our rain mac, and our if statement. If it's sunny, then we leave the rain mac and we end our if statement and then once we've made our decision based on the weather we go to work okay now this is a, a very crude example in some ways but it gets the point across of what an if statement does it makes a decision we make a decision based on and I've purposely put it in brackets we make a decision based on a particular condition now in this real life scenario the condition is the, the state of the weather so if raining then we're a rain mac and then we end our if statement so if that condition is true if it is raining we'll stick on our rain mac then we go to the next line of code and we check another condition if sunny then we leave our rain mac and we end our if statement and then once once we've decided whether or not we're going to wear our rain mac we go to work I mean, obviously, this doesn't take into consideration whether it's cloudy or <coughs> whether it's actually sunny and raining, but it's just a simple example to get you used to the ideas of if statements. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to look at um, a simple conversion program, and we're going to look at converting pounds to kilograms and kilograms to pounds. We're going to use a new um, control or object, if you if you like, and it's called a radio button. So in the control panel on the left, click on radio button, drag it in, place it in the form. You should be familiar with all these other things in the form. We've got a text box, we've got a, um, a label, we've got a, two command buttons, we've got a another label, and a label for our answer. Okay. And I've called them by various names so if we just look at the the text box I've called it txt weight because uh, it's not a number that it is a number that's going in there but in this instance it's going to be a weight so it's best to call it by a, a more suitable name I've got a command button called cmd convert I've got a close button cmd close I've got two option buttons I've called one opt con to kilograms in other words convert to kilograms I've got another option button, I've called it convert or con to pounds, opt con to pounds, and then I've got a label, and I've called it label weight because again it's not just displaying an answer of such, it's displaying an actual weight, so more meaningful names now. Okay, so pause the video, give yourself a second to, to set your form up, and resume the video when you're ready. Okay, hopefully you've done that, and uh, we can move on with the actual code now. So. Let's just take a look at the basics of the code to start off with. Here you can see that I've um, already made a start. I've declared a variable called SNG weight. We're going to be using singles. Singles have decimal places in them. And then I've converted the text box, the information from the text box, uh, converted it to a single and placed it in SNG weight. That's something that you should be familiar with from um, week one, uh, week two that we've been working on. So if this is all new to you, I suggest that you go back and, and view some of the previous videos. And simple display, I'm displaying the, the label weight dot text equal to. Basically what the program is going to do, so I just run it, I put a value in here, I select one of these buttons, I click the convert button and it will display the actual converted amount. At the moment it's still displaying just the, the value as it is in the text box. 
Okay, so I've just closed that. So what we're actually looking at is we're looking at the option buttons and we're look, looking to see whether or not this property checked is set to false or true. Just show you what the difference is. I've put the option control to pounds or convert to pounds should say. I've set the checked button to true and you'll see that it's actually checked. So that's what we need to look at at runtime. In other words, when the program's running. So let's go into the code and let's specify which option button that we're going to look at first. So we've got two option buttons. So we'll look at option convert to pounds. And what we're actually going to say is if option convert to pounds dot checked equals true then we're going to do something and what we're going to do is we're going to do the conversions okay so pause the video and put the conversions in and pause the video and try and set up the the other option okay let's see how you got on if option convert to pounds is checked uh, check equals true then we would make the SNG weight equal to itself times 2.2 because we're, we're converting from um, kilograms to pounds so the value that they would have put in you would assume would be in kilograms um, on the flip side of that if, if we're converting to kilograms so if opt convert to or con to kilograms it dot checked equals true then SNG weight equals SNG weight divided by 2.2 Nothing's changed from that point of view. From that point of view, I'm still displaying it and so on. So if I just run my program just to show you, um, just put one in as a value. Click on the convert button. Kilograms to pounds is already selected. If I just flip it, click convert again, and that, that looks to be correct. Okay. So hopefully, that's your first introduction to. Um, selection statements and hopefully that you you've got to grips with the fact that this is the condition so in the explanation at the beginning I talked about the weather whether it was rainy or not and I said if raining well in this instance that is the actual condition if that option um, is selected in other words option control to pounds dot checked equals true and this is the condition obviously in the second selection statement Okay, try and uh, do a few exercises or work out a few things yourself, maybe miles to kilometres or maybe pounds to ounces, any kind of conversion that you can think of. Perhaps even do a currency converter and, and include more options, so maybe great British pounds to dollars, um, slotties, I've been to Poland recently so that's a good one to do, um, perhaps euros and... Japanese yen. Just have a little play around with it. Okay, thank you.